Hi, so yeah, this is a Mega Drive 1, uh, a PAL Mega Drive 1 VA4. I'm going to install this uh, this mod kit from Consoles Unleashed. So these pads here are going to go here to control the region and language uh, switching. And this is not mandatory and it's going just to a pin on here. I uh, can't remember what it's supposed to do. In my, in, from memory, it's controlling the pause, but doesn't really make sense because you can pause the console in other, other ways. It's not like it's a master system. This part controls the, it's a dual frequency oscillator. And this part controls the reset button. So, this thanks to these two pads that are going to the controller uh, you can you, you can uh, do all of the aforementioned from your controller so there is some pre some uh, preparation to do. so here is the uh, power button reset button and I need to uh, to cut one trace which is and this one I think I need to keep this so that's probably a pull down so I need to cut after the pull down so right here yeah seems correct Just going to do a quick continuity check. Okay, that's fine. Then these are the jumper that control the language and uh, and the video rate they are hard set so I need to cut them you can see on the solder mask these ones the number uh, 3 and 2 if you have a Japanese uh, console it's going to be another, another, sorry, another set of uh, jumpers basically all of them, all of them needs to be open and then the mod kit will uh, take care of closing the relevant ones. continuity check this one is still connected Then I need to remove uh, this capacitor, the crystal oscillator. So it's at yeah, this point.
least one of them is not clear yet This one doesn't want to clear itself. Yeah, I think that all of them are still. Okay, I should be a bit better. I bought myself a engineer solder sucker so I got it yesterday so I still need to adjust Okay, I think this is basically ready to be modded. I'm going to do a vid video uh, jumper number three and then uh, language which is jumper number two. Thank <laughs> you. 
these pads are for the mega CD. So I don't need them. It's, it's, it's just your plain, uh, your normal uh, Mega Drive one. This one, so. Next is language. And then ground and 5 volt. So it actually doesn't matter that you take ground and 5 volt from uh, these pads. Uh, you just need to basically how the mod works is that it's going to send either 5 volt or ground to these uh, these wires that I already installed. I'm going to take them from here, but uh, just so you know, if you uh, if you want to take them from another place, you can. So that's 5 volts from the jumper to the other side. And then ground, which is also coming from a uh, jumper 3, I think. Yeah, the other side of the jumper 3. Okay, I'm going to take care of the CPU right away. So it needs to go to CPU pin um, 17. Let me grab something real quick. I'm going one pin, uh, um, one pin uh, further away, just so I can loop. Um, okay. 
it will make sense soon can see I'm pressing so I, I'm not um, putting pressure on the on the pad so that's pin 17 Take care of the clock. So that's uh, I had to check just to make sure I wasn't making a mistake. So that's this part. So CLK CLK is going to this part. portion so basically let me grab just so I don't make a mistake so I think so I cut the reset line but that's one of these Apparently that's this one. Just in the A. So 
so yeah forgot about that but i need to scrape away maybe i can have a little close up yeah. okay. so that would be this one So, yeah, you have RB and RL. RB stands for reset button. So RL um, stands for reset line. So that's the line that goes from the reset button from the where it needs to go. So I cut it, but basically this was connected to reset button. Oh, sorry, uh, this this was connected uh, to the reset button. I just cut it somewhere here uh, on the back side. So now basically this when needed uh, when you do something with the controller there is a chip in this mod kit that will uh, basically reconnect the two that, uh, that we cut. then I need to wire the reset button to the actual button.
we want to avoid this area and even these so um, yeah putting it under this and going uh, in front basically doing this um, might lead to might lead the wire to get stuck in this not a huge is huge is issue but yeah just uh, opted for that just to be on the safe side so as of now this is working so if i turn it on put a game i press on the reset button uh, it's going to do everything that it's supposed to do now uh, the interesting bit is that i can do that uh, from the controller also so just two more wires i've seen uh, joe from console unleashed uh, I've seen him do something, I'm not sure what, so let's discover it together. So basically, I need to take uh, C6 and, C and C9, so C9, so that's controller 1, this one is controller 1, sorry, this one's controller 1, this is C6, this is C9, so I could get it from this pad, uh, this joint and this joint, but yeah, the access is really, yeah, it's not ideal. But I've seen him having some wire, so I guess he's doing it like that somehow. Yeah, it's going through. Okay. Okay, my wire came back here, but got it. Okay. So let's pick uh, C9. And C9 is the one on the right. I'm going to give myself a little more leeway so you can't see anything. Yeah. Sorry.
Okay. That wasn't very easy. Okay, so that should be ready to test. Yeah. plug a controller so if you see stuff changing on, on screen I'm doing that with the controller so let's try Sorry about that, I bought a new thing and it doesn't really understand when I when I'm pressing uh, when I put a scat on it. So, yeah. I actually don't remember the button combination so I could just Okay, so I'm going to hold A, B, C and start for 1.5 seconds. It should reset the console. Uh, I think I changed the... Okay, so right now I'm just resetting. I changed to 50 hertz at one point. Yeah, I'm going just to try to come back to 60. Maybe just a short press. Okay, I came back to 60, so yeah, so, oof, sorry about that, um, so yeah, it's working, uh, I don't have, I have, um, I didn't, inst I haven't, sorry, I can't speak English right now, so I, I haven't installed the 
LED in in there. So basically, I need to be so close. And this connect to this. This is going to have the LED from this side uh, glued to the top part of the shell. So if if you want to reopen the console, you can just separate these. So yeah, I didn't have a feedback. Uh, this helps a lot because it's going to cycle through. So basically, I was holding the the combination of the on the controller, and I think I, I was just doing a loop and always uh, coming back to 650, etc., or just changing the language. But if I had the the LED, I could have uh, seen where I was basically because it's, it's changing color and then stop on the right one. So, yeah. Uh, so I had, let me check just one thing real quick. I had 50, I had 60, I managed to reset the console. I guess the language would change, change too, but for that you need to uh, reset the console. I had, oh, no, maybe not actually. I think you can change language uh, while it's running. So right now I have uh, 59.91 uh, Hertz on my OSSC. So that tells me that that's the correct 60 Hertz. So everything is working fine. So yeah, if you want one of these modes, uh, go to uh, consoles unleashed. Consolesunleashed.com is based in UK, but he ships to uh, maybe worldwide, at least the Europe. Europe. So yeah, that's it for now. See you.